Hi guys. Okay, so um, we're going to try this again. And unfortunately, my original video did not save properly. So today we're looking at multiplying 3 and 6. And I want to point out something ahead of time. So when I look at the numbers 3 and 6, I know a couple things about them. These are doubles and halves of one another. And what I mean by that is if I was to add 3 plus 3, I would get 6. If I took 6 and divided it into two groups, I would get 3. I also went ahead and made a number line counting out 10 spaces. And I made a number line for 6 counting out 10 spaces. And so what I was saying earlier, I'm going to demonstrate here. 3 plus 3 is 6, or half of 6 is 3. So for example, if you have a 6, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, right? So you have half of 6 is 3, or 3 plus 3 is 6. So there's a couple ways to think about it. And this number line here is going to be important. So I'm going to hang on to that there. I would suggest you write it down too. So when I put a check mark here, it means that I have read the sentence and I understand it. This is called a declarative sentence. They're just telling you a statement. They're just telling you something. And so I see that I have one, two, three three sentences that end with a period, and one question mark. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Sabrina is making triangles with toothpicks. Okay, so that's what this is a picture of over here. Here's her toothpicks. And what we are going to have to figure out is why does Sabrina need three toothpicks for each triangle? Well, she needs three toothpicks because a triangle has three sides. It has one, two, three. Try always means three. And so the original one that they did for us here, and you might be wondering what these are. And I use that just to help me count so I don't recount a side. So I just put that in there so I know side one, two, three. So what it's asking me to do is use three toothpicks. I don't have toothpicks, so I'm just going to hand draw them. And I need to do it uh, for four triangles. Okay, so how many toothpicks does Sabrina use? Okay. So here we go. Um, so what we have is these four triangles. Side one, side two, side three, side four, side five, side six. Wait a minute. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One triangle, two triangles, three triangles, four triangles. So it's gonna be 12. And I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite those numbers here. So we're going to skip count by the number of sides. 3, 6, 9, 12. Great. How many triangles are there in all? Well, we can see here there is one triangle, two triangles, three triangles, and four. Okay? Now, sometimes kids will ask me, well, how do I know what I write after the number? So it's usually when it says how many dogs, how many cats, how many pizzas, how many slices, how many people... So that's how you know what you're going to put here. So how many triangles? We said four triangles. And how many toothpicks for each triangle? Not the total. So in this triangle, you had three. In this one, you had three. In that one, you had three. And in this one, you had three. So um, you're going to have three toothpicks in each triangle. So if you have four triangles with three in each, you're going to get 12. And that's just basically us taking this number line and breaking it into parts. Triangle one, triangle two, triangle three, triangle four. Three toothpicks plus three toothpicks plus three toothpicks three plus three toothpicks. Okay, now we have four triangles with 12 toothpicks. So Sabrina had uses 12 toothpicks. Now, what I did here was I went ahead and marked this out because this time they want us to think about it instead of having four, we're going to have eight. But you guys, we already know what four is. Four triangles has 12 toothpicks. Wait a minute. So one, two, three, four. Four triangles had 12 toothpicks. Mm -hmm. So another four toothpicks would have, an, or another four triangles would have another 12 toothpicks. So this is one triangle, two triangles, three triangles, four triangles, five triangles, six triangles, seven triangles, eight triangles. If I solved this to say that four triangles have 12 toothpicks, then I know the other four triangles will also have 12 toothpicks. So now I can take together that I have 12 toothpicks here and 12 toothpicks here, 
and together this makes 24. Now you might be counting here and say, I don't count 24. Remember, each one of these is worth three. So triangle one had three, triangle two had three, triangle three had three, triangle four had three, triangle five had three. So really you're counting by threes here. Three, six, nine, 12. Three, six, nine, 12. Okay, so that's essentially what's happening, and you have to put those together to get your eight triangles. So essentially what I wanted to show you here is that we already actually have this number line done for us up here. So this is one triangle, two triangles, three triangles, four triangles, five triangles, six triangles, seven triangles, eight triangles, right? So you could have used that number line up there, or you could have just said, Okay, in triangle one, I, uh, in the first four triangles, I have 12, and in the second four triangles, I have 12. And then you could add those together. So you can kind of do it how you like. I personally like this way better, but you can do what works for you. Now, the other cool thing about having this is we already have the answer in this number line here. So it says find the number of triangles needed for six toothpicks, for six triangles. So I drew one triangle, two, three, four, five, six triangles, okay? And in each one, there's three. So we could count it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. Or we could just use our number line and go out six spots, triangle one, triangle two, triangle three, triangle four, triangle five, triangle six. So what you're gonna do to figure out how many um, toothpicks needed for six triangles is you are gonna go ahead and either count it out or do it on the number line. So we counted the lines as we drew them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So our answer is 18 toothpicks. All right, good. All right, jumping on to page one, 48, okay? Now 148, I I can maybe guess that this might be a little tricky for a couple of you because there's a lot happening down here. And basically I want to show you or I want to talk to you about this ahead of time. This is going to be a pattern. And in this pattern you're going to be doing the same steps, but you're just adjusting for the numbers that they give you, but it's going to be the same pattern. This is I'll tell you straight up, not my favorite way. This is also not my favorite way to draw it out, but for some of you, that, that's where you need to be. Okay, so we have Jessica, and she's using these craft sticks, right? And she wants to make six octagons. And an octagon is like a stop sign. That's typically something um, that you see with an octagon. And so I'm gonna double check myself. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there are eight there. So I'm gonna, um, eight sides, and we need six of those, right? We need six pictures that look like this. Now, I could draw it out. I don't wanna draw six of them, I just don't. So I'm just gonna skip count instead. So octagon one, octagon two, octagon three, octagon four, octagon, octagon five, octagon six. So I know my answer is 48, but they're gonna have us work out some items down here, and so what we're gonna do is we're going to specifically look at this one here because this is the one that is matching this picture which is also matching what they asked us up here so what i see is that all of these start with a five and that's because fives are easier to count so some people might not be good at doing counting six eights or eight sixes right like, like that just might be too hard for them so instead of doing it by six we'll do it by fives because the thing is when you have five groups of something plus one additional group, let's say it's five groups of eight plus our additional one group of eight, if I was to look at this and I was a third grader, this might not make sense to me. So this is why they drew it out in a picture for you guys, okay? So essentially, you're taking all of your pieces, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have one group of eight, two groups of eight, three groups of eight, four groups of eight, five groups of eight, and then six groups of eight. And remember, that's what it's saying. We need six groups of eight, 
So this picture is this here. But what they're doing is they're going to break it up into parts. So you're going to figure out what 5 eighths is first. And that's actually pretty easy. Um, I don't want to count by eights, so I'm going to count eight fives because, you know, turn around facts. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so 40 is what I get. And if I was to count each of these, I would also land on 40, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. So I also count 40 in there. So what I have to do is I know there's the, you, it's almost like you're taking the biggest chunk out first. So I know there are 40 dots in here, and then you can just count up if you want, or you can just say 40 plus eight. So essentially what this is, is five groups of eight plus that leftover group you didn't do, okay? And so that's why it looks like this. So for all of these, Let's say I was doing, um, let, let's even just do a smaller one. Let's go six times four, six times five, and we'll do six times six, okay? Because these are the ones that were not done in the book, and I would like to practice these with you, okay? So for all of these, we're going to add the sixth group later. So we're going to always say five times how many are in that group. So this time it'll be five times five, and this time it'll be five times six. And then you have to add that remaining group. So in this one, we're counting by fours. So we did five of the groups of four, but we still have one more to go. So we're gonna add whatever this answer is, we'll add four to it. In this one, we're timesing the groups are a size of five. Right now, I have five fives showing, and I need to add one more five. In this example, we have five sixes showing, but I need one more six showing, so I'm gonna add that six, okay? So when you do this, this is really 20 plus four. This is 25 plus five. And this one is 30 plus six, okay? So that's essentially what's happening. So for some of you, this may not be your preferred method. In fact, I really think that you would be best to try it this way where you just like write them out and then you can count it. Um, but if we look here, this is five sevens plus the additional seven. Because remember, we want six sevens. This time, they do five of our sixes plus the additional six. So now we have six sixes, right? We have five sixes here and we have one more six there. We have five eights here, and we get our sixth eight here. We have five nines here, and we get our additional nine here. So is this my preferred way? Not really. But um, for some of you, you might prefer it this way. So that is something to do. And tomorrow when we talk about distributive property, that this might make a little bit more sense to you. It might make a little bit more sense. So now we're gonna talk about doubles. Well, first off, I have to understand what a double is. A double is just essentially when you take the same number and you add it together. The numbers can be odd, they can be even, but they both have to be the same number. It doesn't matter what you choose, right? The double of seven is 14. The double of two is four. The double of three is six. Okay, so I'm feeling good about these doubles here. All right, so write at least one factor, okay? So any of the numbers that you're multiplying together are a factor, so either six or eight, three or eight, six or eight. Up here it was six and nine, six and eight. Like there, So those are your factors. Now it says write at least one factor when at least one factor is an even number, you can use doubles. So in this case, six is an even number and eight is an even number. So I can use the doubles of either of those. Three is not a double, is not an even, it's an odd. But you do have a double here. So you can do this, okay? So let's take a look. When, you, when at least one factor is an even number, you can use doubles, great. First multiply with half of an even number. So what they've done here is they want us to do six eights. That is what we have been working on this whole time. 
So what they're going to do is they're going to take 6 eighths and they're going to split it into the same problem, but they're going to do that same problem twice. So what that means is they're going to do, instead of saying 6 eighths, they're going to say 3 eighths and 3 eighths. Because 3 groups of 8 plus 3 groups of 8 is going to equal 6 groups of 8. So you really only have to solve this once, and we already know that 3 eighths is 24. So for both of these, we're going to put 24 plus 24. Remember, if I have 3 groups of 8, if I have this as a group that's 1 8, 2 8, 3 8, and I have another three groups of eight together, if you put the answers to this one and the answers to this one, you're gonna get 24. Let me show you this way in case this doesn't make sense. Uh, eight, 16, 24, yeah? Eight, 16, 24. So if you put 24 and 24 together, you're going to get six eights, okay? So that might be a little confusing. I'm hoping that made sense. And so what we get is the 3 out of 8 is 24, and you repeat that process, you're going to get 24 plus 24 is 48. Okay. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is a uh, multiplication table, and these are quite fun. The only thing that I don't like is you, we don't, I don't, when I see a multiplication table, I don't usually see the zeros on there because they just kind of take up space. Anything times zero is zero. Okay. So what they're asking us to do is to look at 6 eighths is 48 again. So when I look at this, I have to ignore this zero. So I'm going to start here. And this is just like when I was doing a number line up here. Okay. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 6 eighths is 42. Or we can count from 8. 8 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. So eight sixes, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight sixes is 48, okay? And then the last thing they asked us to do is to highlight or to like lightly shade this in and then to compare this to this. Well, what I see is that three plus three is six, six plus six is 12, nine plus nine is 18, 12 plus 12 is 24, and so on. I also notice that it takes me two times to get to the, the, the number below, right? So one, two jumps gives me the six. Two more jumps gives me the 12. Two more jumps gives me 18, and so on. All right, guys, so this is where I'm gonna end now at 18 minutes, and we're gonna be working on this together. If you don't need that help, then you can certainly try it on your own. And then we will be doing our um, assignment here. I am asking you to do all of the problems on this page. And then on the back side, you're going to be doing um, one, four, five, and six. So I hope to see you at 11. Bye, guys.